So the boyfriend and I are reading Animorphs, huh. meaning he's reading them to me, and I am listening yeah. and sometimes getting confused yes. and making him repeat things because I'm distractible. Yes. And he's doing it in such a manner that he's using some pretty distinctive voices for each of the characters so yeah. that I know exactly what is going on, yes. even if I'm only half listening. Yes. And he's going to demonstrate those voices for you. Here you go. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, this is Jake. Because it's basically like a, um, a riff on Homestar Wonder's voice. Because Jake is like a total meathead. And so far, all his plans have been total bupkis. Like turning into a flea. Yeah, like turning into a flea. So he distracts Rachel. And speak of, speaking of which, Rachel... I decided to make like a uh, like a uh, a southern bell for reasons I, I can't place. Which is the first thing that came to my head. And it'll probably be some. I, I hear that she's like a total psychopath, very violent, <laughs> very violent in later books. So it'll be total. It'll be very very uh, uh, strange and and humorous to have have a uh, Rachel beating the stuff out of folks while talking like this. Kind of scary, like the uh, stereotypical southern villain. Yeah, yeah. Almost like Doc Hopper from the Muppets movie, which we just saw. Uh, and then Tobias. Tobias is, is straight up Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> because because as soon as I decided, uh, like at first, yeah, at first I, I, I tried to give him like a Gandalf type voice. But then as soon as I gave him the Samwise Gamgee voice, literally the same page I decided to give him the Samwise Gamgee voice, he said something about, about there being a world worth fighting for, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Not Mr. Frodo, but just like, there is this world worth fighting for, and I believe in it. And so that's why he's Samwise. And then, uh, then, uh, Cassie. Cassie is Scottish! And it's a really stupid reason why I gave her the Scottish accent. Because, uh, because, uh, I, like, I was like, oh, she's black. You know who else is black? The Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. <laughs> so why not make her Scottish? Like him. Hopefully she's not missing an eye. Yeah, hopefully not. I'd hope not. Maybe later. Probably later, though. I hear it does get very violent and not safe for the children. As in, like, uh, holding, it, holding in your intestines. Holding in your intestines as you lay on the ground bleeding to death. And then, uh, then, uh... Marco! Marco is basically a straight-up uh, impression of Strong Bad, also from Homestar Runner. Which I thought was appropriate, because Strongbird and Marco both share a love for, uh, making, uh, making jokes on the situation. He make, he make a joke. Not to, ma not to mention, uh, Marco is, uh, and this will probably sound, uh, racist, but, uh, Marco is Hispanic, and uh, Strongbird is based on a Mexican wrestler, so it just seemed to follow, not to mention that since Jake is part of Homestar, that, uh, uh, Marco gets the strong bad because they're best friends, and even though he would never admit it, strong bad is basically a uh, Homestar's best friend. I know it's pom pom, but still. It doesn't hurt that Marco is basically always putting Jake down. Yeah, he's basically like, Jake, <laughs> you're a total idiot. Let's just put that out on the table. But Marco, we're best friends. I don't. <laughs> the plan about the flea. <laughs> I supported that. I shouldn't have supported that. But you, in retrospect, it was not a, it was not a good plan. <laughs> we almost died. Anymore. <laughs> I know I came up with the term Animorphs, but Animorphs is not a good commando name. We killed Rachel. <laughs> in another universe, Rachel is dead. Okay, how do we stop? Uh, you...